First floors, or joisted floors, are one of the places people often used to think that they couldn't put underfloor heating. It's one of the most common misconceptions, but you absolutely can, and there's different ways of doing it. Our clipper plate system has been designed for joisted floors. The way it works is that two runs of the underfloor heating pipe are held in this aluminium tray. This is showing joists at 600mm centres with two runs of plate. If your joists are at 400mm centres, you'll just have the one run of plate. You can either install this from below between the joists, as shown here, after the floor deck has been laid, or from above with the plate straddling the joists before the floor deck goes down. This system will work with traditional timber joists, I-beam joists, and even posi web joists. Once the pipe is in place, all that's left to do is push up the mineral wool acoustic insulation between the joists, which is a building regulation requirement. This will also ensure as much of the heat as possible goes upwards into the room above. Clipper plate is ideal in timber framed houses, where frame suppliers will need to install the upper structural deck for the structural integrity of the construction, where your only option to avoid height buildup at this point is to install from below. It's obviously much safer installing from below than from above. Also, it means that building work going on in the rooms above can continue, helping keep everything on schedule. Tri-panel is a pre-formed panel that uses heat spreader plates and can be installed in between floor joists. This is a system we'd recommend if installing above an unheated area because of its slightly higher heat output than clipper plate. It can fit between 400 or 600 mm centred joists, but is only compatible with solid timber joists. This is because you've got a 9mm ply deck resting on battens fixed to the joists to support the system above. And then you've got your layer of insulation. There's a 25mm polystyrene tray, which will need to be flush or even about a millimetre proud of the top of the joists, so that when the structural floor deck goes down over the top, you've got a really good contact between the metal and the decking above for that heat transfer upwards.